Okay, now we're recording. Hi, everybody. My name is Noah. I'm one of the educators with Shortcuts. And today on today's classroom session, we're going to be looking at gift certificates, gift me gift cards, and even online gift cards. So it's not just a, a basics for Shortcuts. It's sort of the complete how to, what are the differences for these three different types of services that are available for Shortcuts customers. So as with other presentations, we are recording this. So if you can't stick around the entire time, that's okay. We'll send out a copy of this recording, hopefully later today. My microphone is on, but we will allow questions. So if you have any questions, try to save them to the end, unless it's something pressing. And of course, there we go. And of course, if you have any questions after the fact, I'm going to give out our contact information so you can just reach out to us. So the subjects of today, how do you sell, how do you track gift certificates? How do you work with gift me gift cards or digital gift cards, online gift cards? And of course, how do you redeem those? What are the differences? What are the similarities between those? So gift certificates, by default, Every Shortcuts customer, every Shortcuts point of sale customers has gift certificates built into the system. You don't really have to configure anything special. It's literally out of the box. It's ready to go. And gift certificates do allow you to track certificates based on a number or some sort of code that you have so that each one's unique. You can, we do have a report in Shortcuts that allows you to see the outstanding balances, things like that. So the difference between a gift certificate and a gift card, a Shortcuts gift card is actually reloadable. That's one of the big differences. The other thing is, if you are a multi-site location, you can actually redeem your gift cards at different locations. So gift certificates can only be used at the site that they're sold at, but gift cards do allow you to run them at different locations. So they're actually synchronizing online. The third type are online gift cards. So these are specifically electronic only gift cards so that if you don't, let's say you don't intend on printing physical gift cards and you're not interested in that, and you just want customers to buy a gift card online on your web page and to come in and just show you the email so that they can redeem for whatever the value of the gift card is, we can absolutely set that up. So all three options are available to you. But just remember, gift certificates are available right off the bat. If you're interested in physical gift me gift cards, the plastic cards that you can reload, we do have to actually enable the numbers that are assigned to your salon because they're salon specific. So we would actually have to configure that. The same for online gift cards. You have to let us know and we can help you configure online gift cards. So gift certificates and point of sale. Like I said, these are already built into the system. So if you've never used them, if you've never configured them before, or if you haven't enabled them, you can actually go to setup configuration and then into the sales category, gift certificates. So again, gift certificates are already set by default. So you'll notice something that's gift certificate open value, and then open value A and B. So this allows you to, in your point of sale, sell certificates that are worth different values. So if a customer comes in and it's the holiday season and they'd like to buy a bunch of gift certificates for your business, and they say, I'd like to buy a $50 gift certificate, a $100 gift certificate, and a $25 gift certificate. That's why you have the different open value options. So open value could be 50, open value A could be 100, and open value B could be for 25 or whatever the customer wants. So again, this is built into shortcuts by default. To sell it in the point of sale, you would select one of the blank line items. And I'm sure if you use shortcuts, you've done this a million times. You'll select it. And you can choose either sundry or gift card. Both of those will actually bring up the same window. And this is where you select gift certificate open value or open value A or B, depending on which one the customer or how many the customer wants. Then you can 
type in a quantity. Does the customer want one, two, three, fifty, or hundred dollar gift cards? And then what the value is. So you'll enter both of them into shortcuts. Once the customer pays, then shortcuts will actually prompt you to enter what is the tracking code or the tracking number for this gift certificate. So that happens when you press finish sale. So shortcuts will bring up a window. And if you have a barcode on your gift certificates, you could scan it in. Or if you just manually want to type in the number, that's absolutely fine. And then press done. So now shortcuts will actually know what the code is on the card and what the value is. When the customer returns, in the point of sale, you're going to select the gift slash loyalty button. And remember, the version of shortcuts that I'm using on our classroom sessions is the newest build, version 8.1 of shortcuts, or otherwise known as shortcuts 2021. So when you select it, you're able to select gift certificates and then search. You can, there is a search button, so you can scan in the barcode or you can manually search for it. Or shortcuts will actually give you a list of every gift card you sold and what the value is or gift certificate that you sold. Once you find it, shortcuts will deduct whatever the value of that gift certificate was. Now, if there's still a remaining balance, it'll stay on that gift certificate. So then the customer can use it the next time they come in. But if it was less than the value of the service, shortcuts will deduct the entire amount off of that card. So let's actually review these steps. So if you're already using shortcuts, this should be very familiar to you. Now, if you've never sold a gift certificate, again, by default, they're already built into the system. It's possible that you may have to enable them as a payment type if you haven't, or if you had disabled them in the past. So you would actually go to Setup Configuration, and on the right side, you would go to Payment Types. And you would make sure that you have gift certificates enabled as a payment type. So let's actually go through the steps of purchasing one. So if a customer comes in, I'll go to the point of sale, and I'll say I have a retail client, and at the bottom, I'm going to choose Sundry, and I'm going to choose Gift Certificate. So this customer says, I'd like a $25 gift certificate, please. OK. And they say, I'd like two of them, two $25 gift certificates. So I can adjust the quantity. So then the customer is going to give me cash for that. So I'll say he, the customer gave me 50. So up until now, it's Shortcuts is handling this like a normal transaction. When I press my end sale, now Shortcuts is prompting me for what the, the barcode or what the tracking numbers are on my gift certificates. So I went to the local printer and I just printed a number or I had them print up random barcodes on the back that are sequential. So these are actually the next two in line. They end with 836 and 837. So just like that, Shortcuts has recorded the, the transaction and the cards. Now, whenever a new customer comes in and they want to redeem this, so again, we'll actually say it was an existing customer. So perhaps one of my customers on my appointment book, they're ready to check out. And I'll say it was George here. So George is ready to check out. And he happens to have a gift certificate. So down on my payment types at the bottom, I'm going to go to gift slash loyalty. And there are the certificates I've already sold. And he has the one that ends with 836. So it'll take $25 off his total. So now George is just responsible to pay the balance, which is $9.32. So we'll say George is going to put that on his credit card. So once I finish the sale, Shortcuts has now taken that gift certificate out of circulation and you cannot reuse that number again, that tracking number. So you have to discard that gift certificate. So that's actually one of the differences between gift certificates and gift cards. Because with a gift card, 
you can continuously reload money onto that card. So let's go back to the presentation and let's continue. So those were gift cards or gift certificates, I should say. If you want to give me gift cards, so these are actual physical cards, you have to tell us, you have to let Shortcuts know that you're interested in reloadable gift me cards because there's a form you complete where you let us know how many cards would you like to order? Because we do work with a, a print shop called Plastic Printers, and they do custom cards, they do embossed cards, they do cards that are custom shapes, those laser engraved shapes. So they can actually create a custom card for you that has your own unique branding, your own colors, your own shapes, whatever you want. But we have to provide them with a specific set of numbers that correspond with your gift me. So if you just go to any random printer and you tell them to print up 500 or 1,000 cards with barcodes on the back, shortcuts cannot use those numbers because those numbers are not assigned to you. So make sure you contact customer care, customer uh, uh, client success, and they will actually give you this form so you can tell us how many cards do you need, how many numbers do you need. So just remember that. And then once you complete it, then we can get you in contact with plastic printers and provide them with the numbers. So in shortcuts, the payment types setup is very similar to gift certificates. So instead of just enabling gift certificates, you would enable loyalty slash gift cards. And you would create a new sundry. So you actually create two sundries. One is called gift me gift card. So that is when the customer originally purchase one, purchases one. The second is Gift Me Reload. So whenever the customer wants to add more money to the gift card, they actually purchase the Gift Me Reload. And Shortcuts will then recognize, okay, whichever number this is associated with, you want to put more money on the associated card. Now we do have step-by-step -step instructions on our Learning Center page if you want to do this, but I'm going to walk you through online gift cards, online gift me. So let's say you do not want physical cards, neither certificates, neither gift me gift cards, and you just want an online gift card for customers to purchase. The first thing you should do is set up your Stripe account. So Stripe is what's going to be handling the online processing of this card. So this is accessible in the console. And the console is a page that I've talked about in previous classroom sessions. So you're going to go to console.shortcutsoftware.com. You're going to log in with your username and password. So you should remember your username is your email and then whatever password you generated. And then you're going to go to your site settings or your book me settings to enable your Stripe account. So you're going to set up your Stripe account and then you're going to, once it's enabled in the console, once it's synchronizing, then you'll be able to set up what the actual gift cards should be. So in the console, you're going to go to online gift card settings. Now, if the following steps seem a little bit much, that's okay. Let us know. We can do all of these steps for you and then just provide you with the link that you put on your web page. But if you're more hands-on, if you want to see every step of the process, just follow along. So we're going to add a program and we'll select gift cards on the program details. And then instead of configuring the physical gift me gift cards, you can actually skip to the bottom of the page, which is setting up online gift cards. So you're going to go to digital gift card setup. You're going to enable your website sales liability. Now this is specifically for locations that have multiple sites. So if you have two, three, four locations for your business, you can tell shortcuts, are all of my liabilities being held at one site or is it for each individual site? So you let us know and then you update the terms and conditions. So does your state or your province or your county, whatever it is, if they have specific rules about how you handle liabilities or terms and conditions, you can update those rules and then press save. 
so shortcuts will generate what's called a widget code. This is the actual code you put on your web page, and there will be a button that appears that says buy a gift card. So wherever you put your button, this logo will appear, and whenever the customer presses it, a window appears, and the customer can now buy an online gift card. And because you've set up your Stripe account ahead of time, Shortcuts knows whenever the customer pays for this gift card, it will automatically deposit into your account. So you can put this on your web page, and there is an option. Do you want the button to appear on the left, the right, the top, the bottom of your web page? And again, as soon as a customer clicks on it, it will open up that window. So the customer that wants to buy an online gift card. When they press the tab, there are some default values, $50, $100, etc., or they can type in their own value. They'll put in the name of the customer that's going to receive it, what their email address is, and if they want to include a special message, like happy birthday, for example. Then the customer that's purchasing the card will put in their name, email, and their payment details. So two customers will actually get a copy of this message, the purchaser and the recipient. So let's go through these steps again. Now, I'm not necessarily going to go through all of the steps in the online console, but through the console, you're going to go to what's called the Give Me console. And this is where you can select your specific location and create a program. Now, there's one that's already that has already been created. So I'm going to choose one of our customers. And that would be, there we go. We're going to go to Shorty's, actually. So Shorty's Barbershop already has Gift Me. So we went through these steps, and we generated his widget code. So on the Shorty's Barber webpage, if you notice on the left side, that's where he inserted his code. So it's on his main page, and if you press Buy a Gift Card, there's the pop-up window. So you can choose one of the predetermined values for the gift card, or you can type in an amount. So maybe I want a $75 gift card. Then I can put the name of the recipient, and of course my information, and then my credit card. So it's very easy. So Shorty sells physical gift cards as well as online gift cards, and everything is done right through this widget, which is very easy to configure and put on the web page. So let's go back to the presentation. So what does it actually look like when somebody buys an online gift card? What do you see? What does the customer see? So the recipient gets a, a big email, and this includes your logo, your business details, the message that the customer had placed that purchased the card, and the sender will also receive an email. So it will be a sort of receipt for them. It'll have the contact details for the salon, and it'll let them know that they had purchased an online gift card. So then how do you redeem it? The steps are almost exactly the same as redeeming an online gift, cert or sorry, a traditional gift certificate. So the customer will come in, they'll want to purchase a service or a product, they'll, on the point of sale, you're going to select loyalty slash gift card. And then if you have a barcode scanner, you can scan in off of the customer's phone. What was the email that we sent them? What was the code that we sent them? And of course, if you don't have a barcode scanner, you can just manually type in the number of the online gift card from the customer's email. Again, shortcuts will deduct the entire value of that gift card. And if there's any remaining balance, it will stay on that online gift card. So the customer can just bring in their phone again and scan in that card until the entire value has been used. So that's a little bit different than the physical gift me card, because with a physical gift me card, you can reload it. With an online, with a digital gift card, it behaves more like a gift certificate in that once you use the value, it is completely uh, done. You can't reload an online gift card. Now, if you want to see your reconciliation, if you want to see your outstanding balances, this is the other advantage. Again, especially if you're an online, or sorry, a multi-site location, 
and you want to see what are my balances at all of my sites or at one of my sites, you can go to the console, choose your community, and there's a report section where you go to Program Reconciliation Centralized. You can include a breakdown, so that will include the number of the card, when it was purchased, what the value is. So particularly important around tax time in case you need to get these details. If a customer says, oh, I got an email, I deleted it accidentally, I thought it was spam or something, I didn't realize it was an online gift card, you can actually resend that gift card so that the customer that sent it will get their receipt again or the recipient will get another copy of that email. So you do have that ability. And again, this is all based online. So even from your home computer, you can go to the console, view and edit your transactions once you're in management. So that wraps up today's Shortcuts Classroom session. So now you should know how to track and sell gift certificates. Again, they're by default available in every build of Shortcuts, whether you're on version seven or version eight of Shortcuts, it's all still the same. You should now also know how to work with physical gift me gift cards. What are the advantages of it, especially if you're a multi-site location? If you're selling digital online gift cards, how do you set that up? How does that work? And of course, how do you redeem them? So now, if you don't have online gift cards, if you're interested in ordering physical gift me gift cards, you should be on one of our packages. So if you've not upgraded shortcuts in a long time, if you've been on the fence about this, now's the time to get an upgrade because we can get you on one of the packages that includes the physical gift me gift cards or the online gift cards. Give our customer care team a call, option number two, to get in, in touch with them if you call our 800 number or email them customercareusa at shortcuts.net. So now we're going to open up the floor for questions. So if you're on your GoToWebinar toolbar, go ahead and type in a question in the questions bar or go to the chat bar. And I'll check just a moment here. I don't think we're going to have any questions today, but I'll check anyhow. Mm, nope. I don't think we're getting any questions. So I'll close this window. Now, if you're watching this video after the fact, you and you have any questions or you'd like to sign up for physical gift me gift cards or even get details on online gift cards, you need help setting up the particulars for your page, let us know. Let customer care know. And you can let education know as well. Education at shortcuts.net if you want to email us. And you can even ask us on social media. We do check our Facebook page. We do check our Instagram page. So be sure to reach out to us and we will get back to you. Well, that wraps it up for today. Thank you all for attending and we'll look forward to your next classroom session. Have a great day, everybody.